Uh oh, memory low. Uh oh, memory low. Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today, I'm cutting some plate. I didn't get any uh, footage of it because the GoPro decided to not want to work for a little bit. Just kept saying busy, I don't know why. So anyway, took my old uh, cutoff wheel, cut off some four inch square plate here. Those are gonna go here. And gonna, they're supposed to be upper shock mounts for your live axle. I may or may not use those for a shock mount. Probably won't actually. It's also a good place to attach the roll bar to. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably tack those things on. And regardless of what I do for the rear end, I want it to look the part. I want the dimensions to be right. I want it to look like a you know, a proper book chassis or, you know, close to a caterham. So, um, I'll, they have the whole rear end, the bottom piece and the top hoop going this way and the dimensions in the book. I might try and recreate, just get those loosely on there or tacked on there. So it kind of like, I know that's kind of roughly where it's going to be. And then, uh, and then I'll figure out my, you know, diff and all that stuff and control arms or subframe, make sure it fits in, in that. Um, situation like it goes up in and nothing nothing ex you know goes beyond that or around it because I want it I want the outside dimensions to look just right that's important yeah I gotta start thinking about where this engine is gonna sit and then I can figure out where the seats gonna go where the pedals need to go I mean the firewall is supposed to be here but if it works out that the pedals need to be closer or farther I mean I can move the firewall a little bit Problem is, the further up I go, the smaller it gets because of the bell housing shape. I don't know what this is. I might take that off. We'll see. We'll see. Right now it's lunchtime. I'm gonna go to Moe's. Cleared the table off. All I really did today so far is these two little braces. I was definitely stiffening it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I've been debating what I'm going to do with um, the suspension on this, whether it's subframe or hang uh, the, the Miata diff and then use uh, tubular um, control arms. Either way, this needs to be scooted forward. So I can I can lay it out on here and start building, and measuring left to right, up and down, stuff like that. So this needs to move, and I, I would also have to raise it up to ride height where I want that to be in order to put the the subframe back there, or you know possibly start building. I, I like I said, I found some plans that might work. You know, I just might have to modify them for this exact frame. Um, so what I think I'm going to do now, and I'm, I really wasn't, really wasn't super wanting to do this yet, but I think I might start welding what I have here, uh, so I can take it off here, be able to flip it a couple times as I'm welding. I'll probably I'll jump around so I don't heat one spot up more too much. So uh, weld over here, weld over there, flip it back and forth, that kind of thing, working around. But I think. Right now I'm pretty good with this stuff so far. So if something does need to come out then it'll just be welded. I'll just have to I'll just have to cut as close as I can and then grind down until it's flat and I'll just have to you know cut a new tube. I don't think I'm gonna fully weld this one. Um, this one most likely is gonna have to be sectioned from the center, but I can I can always do that with these tubes still in. I have to make a, a bolt-in center section here for it to go up underneath the trans. But I think as it sits right now, I think I'm going to start welding. So yeah, hope I'm not making a mistake. Here we go. 
All right, I think got enough of it welded, I think, to where, I mean, I didn't do every joint uh, that I could see. I got enough of it welded, I think, that um, I could flip it, maybe start doing the bottom and the sides before it warps too much. So let me try that. Hopefully this goes well. This thing is straight, man. <laughs> Let's do some bottom welds, huh? First, bud. Man, that's a lot of tubes to weld. Didn't look like much, but oh, that's a lot of welding. Um, I didn't get them all. I know there's a couple left, but it's time for me to go. I will resume this tomorrow. Oh, speaking of which, there's the wife calling. So that's how it sits. Um, hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, welding until it hurts. You know, I. I'm getting some burn. I need some welding sleeves. I'm starting to get burn on my arm, but um, there's some awkward angles in here. A little difficult, and my welding mask kept flashing me too. Ugh. So could be better. Um, I will catch you tomorrow. I'm I'm wanted. <laughs>